as we've seen, there's some pretty convincing evidence for this idea that the universe started in one place, the Big Bang Theory. But it wasn't enough to convince everyone. So after Hubble's findings, there was a very long period of time when people were looking for other observational evidence for the idea that everything started in one place around about 14 billion years ago. To understand the observations that were finally made, which gave us much more certainty that the Big Bang actually took place, we need to think a little bit about what the universe would have been like before stars and galaxies formed in the very early universe. One thing that we know is that when you compress a gas, it gets hotter. And also the idea of a Big Bang sort of implies an explosion, so maybe it's not too much of a, of a leap to imagine that the early universe would have been very, very hot. So what did the early universe look like? Well, about 380,000 years after the Big Bang, the universe would have looked fairly similar to this candle flame. The hottest parts of this candle flame are just slightly cooler than the universe was at that time. The color of the candle, this yellow glow, is characteristic of the temperature of soot particles in the flame. So this is thermal radiation. Anything that is hot gives out radiation. So this is exactly the same radiation that you see from red hot materials when they're red or something much hotter than this candle flame such as the sun. That white hot glow is also from this thermal radiation. There are two very important differences between the early universe and this candle though. The first difference is that the universe, even at that point, very early on when things were much closer together, was very, very much less dense than this candle flame. It would almost have been a vacuum by our standards. The other important difference is that this candle is composed of hot soot and mostly gas. The early universe wasn't composed of gas, but a hotter phase of material called plasma. What a plasma is, is when a material gets so hot that the nuclei and electrons which make up the elements actually get torn apart. So you just have this sea of atomic nuclei and electrons. There's a very important property of plasmas, which is that they are opaque. Radiation can't travel through them. All of those free particles will reabsorb any energy that's traveling through them. Remember though that we're in an evolving universe. The universe is continually expanding. So what happens next rather suddenly is that that plasma turns into a gas. All of those electrons and nuclei combine together to form neutral atoms. And this is completely different from the plasma in that radiation is able to travel through those neutral atoms. It doesn't get reabsorbed anymore. Now, if that's the case, then there's no reason why that radiation, that heat and light that we saw in the candle, shouldn't be continuing to travel through the universe. So this is a real observation that we can make. If we can detect this radiation, then we have some very, very strong evidence for a phase of the universe's evolution when it was this hot plasma. And that would be very, very strong evidence in favor of a Big Bang. So how do we go about detecting this radiation? Well, there's one important point that we have to bear in mind. The yellow glow that you saw from the candle is how the radiation would have appeared in the early universe. As we'll explain later in the course, as the universe expanded, that yellow light turned from visible yellow radiation to microwave radiation. So in order to detect that radiation, we need a detector which can detect microwaves. As it happened in the 1960s, decades after Hubble had made his observations, this radiation was detected. It's known as the cosmic microwave background. And further studies showed that the radiation as predicted by Big Bang Theory matched perfectly with the observations that were made. So this is one of the best agreements between theory and experiment in the history of science. So we have very, very strong evidence for the Big Bang Theory.